Dr. Zavago? Huh. I, honestly, I've had this record before, but before, but I've never, I've never actually seen this film. Never actually seen this. Perhaps we should check this film out. I mean, if I got the record, why not? I'll be right back after one uh, reviewing. After one viewing. I may have just seen the most, like, one of the saddest films, well, and longest films, since I saw Gone with the Wind. I might have to hold myself and cry right now. Let's get, let's get ready to go ahead and talk about it. Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? So, uh, flu season's going around, so... Make sure you get your flu shots and all that, okay? So today, we're looking at a film that is considered, that is a epic historical romance film. In this case, we're looking at the film, Dr. Zavago. I will be honest with you, I have not seen this film before until, you know, this review. Um, I'm going to be honest, when it comes to films of the epic uh, variety, I have seen some things like Lawrence of the Arabia. I carry 23 great wounds, all got in battle. 75 men have I killed with my own hands in battle. I scatter, I burn my enemy's tents. I take away the flocks and herds. The Turks pay me a golden treasure, yet I am poor. Gone with the wind. You go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> um. The Ten Commandments, I believe, I've seen that one. Um, <clears throat> I will say this. This has got to be the most heartbreaking film I've ever seen. Especially this ending for this film. But, that is neither here nor there. Um, let's... Let me uh, give a little bit of detail about, such as what this film is about. Well, the film is about Yuri Zhivago, a married physician and poet whose life is altered by the Russian Revolution and the subsequent civil war. And, his, and as well as the love interest of his life, Laura and Tempova. Um, although this film was uh, popular in the West, the book was banned in Soviet Russia for many dec decades. The reason is the film could not be made in the Soviet Union. It was said the film was mostly filmed in Spain. And it was an international co-production between Metro Golden Meyer and Italian producer Carlo Puente. So, I will get this out right here out of the gate. This is a very long film. It's over three hours long. And as well, some of the things that you might know, not know about so, at the 38th Academy Awards, it won five Oscars for Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Original Score, 
best cinematography, best art direction, and best costume design. It was nominated for five others, including best picture and best director, but lost four of these five to. Sound of Music. It also won five awards at the 23rd Golden Globes Award, including Best Picture, Drama, Best Actor, Motion Picture, Drama, Omar Sheriff. Uh, what is my honest thoughts on this film? Honestly, I like I, one thing I can say about this film is, although um, this will be a great double feature with uh, Gone with the Wind, but this will. If the, if you actually did that, that'd be like a uh, you'd have to have a bit a lot of free time because that's a six hour double feature. But my God, this film is truly good. I can say um, the colors of this film are truly, truly beautiful. And I gotta say, the fact that this film got so many Oscars proves, in a way, that whether it's acting, which is actually really good, that it deserves all those things we got. Honestly, there is a lot of things that actually happen in this film. Um, one of the things that happens is this film actually has arcs. And as well as a intermission. How would I describe it? Uh, Act one basically has the child, uh, basically the childhood of Yuri, and how he became a how in a way how his life as a poet, his journey through medical school. Yes, why not? Aha! Uh -huh. I have to announce that Doctor Yuri Zhivago. Yes. Dr. Zivago, he came third in all Moscow. And the meaning of his life, wife. We also get the other side for uh, his uh, eventual lover, Laura, and how she met her husband. Unhappy men, too. Unhappy in their jobs. Unhappy with their wives. Doubting themselves. And as well as uh, the very sleazy man, Victor, basically is like a friend of her mother. And basically, he in a way, yeah, basically he kind of is very ewy. And in a way... Yes, yes, I'll get the police. No! I don't want you to get the police. Please. I do not want the police. I just want you to get it off. She basically shoots him, and then that is how uh, Yuri becomes like you know, say, "Oh, hey, I know you." There's all the character of Pasha. Basically, Pasha is basically the uh, the husband of Lara, and basically he, in a way, is goes from like in the act one of this idealistic individual who is. Wanting a civil revolution, in a way, he becomes a general, or I think a general. And what happens is, near the end of the film, he becomes this, I think he is this, the Strenkov. And basically, he's sort of like, in a way, a individual with high authority. However, in a way, he ends up leaving his, in a way, his wife and daughter. So basically, they're having to, in a way, fend for themselves. Not fend for themselves on the street, though. Uh, act, and there to end, how the Act 1 ends is, um, Yuri and his, wa his wife, his wife, Tanya, and their son, Sasha, are all trying to escape from the war.
child is dead. And they end up doing that. However, they basically they are able to get on a train. I gotta say these train sequences are very with the snow and all that. It's truly kind of so saddening. Quello è Strelnikov. And then Act Two, basically they all uh Yuri meets back up with Pasha and he goes like say, Hey, uh, I know who you are. I know you write poetry, by the way. Because uh Yuri is also a doctor and a poet. And what happens in Act One Um that is very integral. Um Yuri had been a like in a way a nurse or doctor for the war and then basically he forged his papers so he just says like hey I'm being uh, released which in a way says like which basically in a way he uh illegally ran away which is a huge point that comes up in act two in act two basically he's just like he goes from his family constantly to see um Laura, and then, in a way, as soon as he tries to get back, he basically gets captured, and then he's forced to go back to Laura, and then, uh, he finds his family is all safe in Paris, but eventually he like lets Laura go, and yet in the film. <coughs> Sadly, I would say this, the ending sequence of the film is heartbreaking. In fact, basically the entire film is being told in a way by uh, Yuri's brother. And I gotta say, uh, near the end of the film, he's basically trying to say, Hey, we've discovered uh, that Tanya, uh, that Laura had a daughter and named Tanya. And, uh, I gotta say, those sequences are just tragic in the fact that we, he, that you, Javago, although he was, kind of went back between both ladies, he just said, say, there's the woman I love. And they basically... <laughs> And like I said, and then basically, near the end of the film, we discovered that Tanya is able to play um, a ballesca. I think it's like a Russian instrument. And I guess say, we said, like, say, you can play at all. That She's an artist. An artist? Who taught you? No one taught her. Uh. Then it's a gift. This is when I started to palm man and he said, he said, oh, You're self made. Oh, oh. This movie, I'm gonna say, this movie is really sad, but it's so good. I mean, because like, one of the things that it really does when it comes to the human parts of it is the, the uh, themes of regret family as well and love and also the fight for one's country and i guess see it's just really if you love cinema if you love great acting the use of color all that cinematography you will really like this film you might like if you're gonna watch this film you might want to take some time watching it because, like I said, three hours long. So, yeah. Overall, I gotta say this film is really good. Well, hopefully you liked today's video. Hopefully you found it very informative and maybe you might check out today's video. A film I made. 
And if you do, that'd be great. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. If you can, <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help feed the algorithm of God and all that stuff. And as always, don't forget to keep your popcorn buttery and warm, your drinks ice cold, and keep those eyes on the screen. I'll see you next time.